Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be discussing brake upgrade options. This is for the B8 platform, that's the A4, S4 and S5. Right, let's jump into it. Okay, so let's talk brake upgrades now. We're going to be discussing only front brakes. Um, I will touch on the rear brakes and I'll explain why at the end, so stick around for that. Uh, but we'll jump straight into it. So the stock brakes, they are a single pot caliper, a floating caliper, and the discs are 345 mil. Now, the brakes are adequate if your car is stock. You don't particularly do any real fast, hard driving. Um, you're not going to do any track days or any sort of long spirited drives like Scotland, Germany, things like that. Then they're absolutely fine. Um, if you were to do, say, for instance, a lap or two around the ring, or you're going to do some Wales or Scotland driving, you may find the brakes just not quite up to it. Um, that's something I have found. That's why I've done a brake upgrade myself, but we'll go into that in a bit. Um, so the first thing, if you're not looking to do loads of track days, but you just want something a little bit better um, from what you've got, there is a few options out there. Now, pads and discs is a big, big plus. If you can change your pads to a more performance pad, something with a bit more bite, something that will eat into the disc, which will give you more friction, that will certainly improve your braking. Now that matched with a set of good quality discs, say for instance some Tarox discs um, or some StopTech discs, they you certainly will increase your braking performance. It still won't make it amazing, um, but it will make it a lot better than it currently is. Also combined with a brake fluid change, as the likelihood is your brake fluid probably hasn't been changed as often as it should be, or it's just not quite up to the job. If you get that swapped out, get your discs and pads changed um, for say for instance some Frodo DS 2500s, some Carbon Lorraines or something similar, you'll notice a big difference in performance. Now I'll put some links in the description and some details of some pads that I've found that people have recommended for the stock replacement. Um, I'll put that in the comments below. And also I'll link up to the details up in this corner, a playlist of all the videos that we have done for the B8 S4, S5 platform, including anti-roll bar upgrades, brake upgrades, and plenty more. So be sure to check that out. Now let's move on to the next upgrade, which is actually changing the calipers. Now um, this is an upgrade I've done myself and it is a four pot Brembo caliper. Um, it came off of a Q5 or a Porsche Macan. Um, the ones I've got on mine are brand new from Porsche over the counter. Um, the calipers cost me just shy of £600, which for brand new calipers, um, I mean, if you were to buy secondhand calipers, you never know if they're going to need rebuilding. So from that perspective, um, it's quite good. Um, they are a four pot individual piston caliper. Um, they mount exactly the same as the original caliper. So you, you physically take the S4 caliper off, take the hose out, put the hose back into the four pot, put the four pot back on. The only difference is it uses different pads. Um, I've gone for some DS2500 Frodo pads, which I absolutely rate. I think they're brilliant. I mean, they're a little bit pricey. They're 175, 180 pounds, but they certainly give you a lot of bite for your money. Um, so you can use original discs. I had new discs on the car already, um, which were straight and true. So I've just reused exactly the same discs. So you physically just change the calipers and the pads. Um, so I mean, if obviously if you need new discs and pads, ideal, change it all. Um, if you can buy some second-hand calipers, I've seen the Q5 calipers swapping hands for between two and four hundred quid. So I mean, you could do quite a cheap brake upgrade. It runs the same size disc, however, you've got a lot more braking friction and a lot more even brake because your the pistons are pushing from both sides rather than one piston pushing from one side and pulling the caliper across, which is a lot less efficient. So that is the first upgrade, that's the four pot, um, which runs exactly the same size, three, four, five mil disc. Um, and that is anything from two to 300 pounds up to 800 pounds if you're going for brand new calipers with really good quality pads. Next on the list is something, uh, someone sent me some details from on Instagram, and this is actually a three liter TFSI A7 brake upgrade. Now I've not seen this before, it looks very similar to the SQ5, which we'll cover in a minute, um, but it's a 356 mil disc running a two pot caliper. So you get an extra, what's that? 11 mil brake disc 
extension so the disc is 11 mil long uh, taller and you also run a two pot caliper now i'll flag some pictures up for you now this is what he sent me um he said that it's very good um i he's, he said obviously it's not as good as it could be should you want to go for something larger but he wanted something that filled the wheel it's quite a large caliper quite a large disc as you can see and it does look quite good um now i did some searching myself when i got sent this information last week um, so that's April 2020 and I only found one pair of calipers which were sold separately and they were about £300 for the pair by the time you bought them both and then obviously you can just buy some A7 discs and some pads so it's not massively expensive is it worth the money if you can get them cheap enough it may well be and if you're looking for something a bit bigger um, then it's not a bad idea um, what size wheels it will fit under I don't know you may need to go for the 19s um, as I'm sure the A7s don't run 18s as stock, but that's something you'll have to look into. But I'll put the part numbers down for what I found. Um, I'll pop that in the description below. Same as all the other calipers, I'll put all the part numbers I know and all the links available for where I've found some of the bits I'm discussing, um, just so you've got that information. Right, so moving on, the SQ5 calipers, like I mentioned earlier. Now these calipers are two pot, same as the A7s, but, and there's a big but, there are 380 mil discs, so they are huge. You're getting an extra 35 mil disc circumference. Obviously, the pads will be slightly bigger, so better friction um, coverage. But the only thing I can find when searching this information online is you will need bigger wheels because obviously 380 mil is a big disc. Um, so you're going to need possibly 20s. Um, so do bear that in mind. Um, you may need 20 inch wheels. Not a problem if you've got big wheels and you want some big calipers and big discs. Um, to fill the back in, but yeah, the SQ5 two piston caliper, 380 mil discs. You'll get a lot more braking um, material on the. This, <laughs> you'll get a lot more disc uh, pad on the disc, so there will be an upgrade, and they'll look massive. So if you've got big wheels, that might be a good option for you to fill the arch. Now, I found the calipers used for three to four hundred pounds um, second hand in a good condition. They came with discs, but you don't know the condition of the discs and pads. Now looking. Um, the discs stock are between four and five hundred pounds. Obviously, they're quite big, so they're going to cost quite a bit of money. So do bear that in mind. Um, all fitted, you're looking at about a thousand pounds for the discs and pads. So it's not the cheapest, but if you've got, like I said, if you've got twenty-inch wheels and you want to fill them, they are big calipers. I'll flash some pictures up of some what they look like on the SQ5, just so you get an idea of what they look like. Um, but yeah, so that is another brake upgrade option. Now I looked at pads, um, there's a few options available because the SQ5 isn't a massively popular um, in the aftermarket range, you may struggle to get good quality pads like DS2500s, etc. I managed to find yellow stuffs for £165, um, so not too bad. And obviously they're gonna be a lot bigger so you will have a lot more friction material which means it will stop you better. So that is another option. And the last option I'll jump into now is the RS4 slash RS5 calipers. Now, these are a eight pot caliper. They run a 365 mil disc. So that's an extra 20 mil of disc and obviously eight parts. So you've got four pistons on each side pushing inward. So the, the braking friction will be quadruple, maybe even more of what the original one is. So they are a massive upgrade. Now these, believe it or not, are not that expensive. It, you have to sit on eBay, um, unless you can obviously find someone from a breaker or something like that, because they're not massively common. But if you go onto eBay and go into sold, there has been some front calipers sell for five, six, seven hundred pounds. So they're not a bad price. However, and I do stress this, discs are not cheap because they're RS4, so they come with RS tax. Um, Non-branded, normal discs, not the wavy ones, just normal circular discs will set you back about £400. If you want the wavy ones, like on the RS4, you are looking at between £800 and £1,000 for a pair of discs, so do bear that in mind. If you can pay um, a little bit more and get discs that are reasonably good and pads with the calipers, then that might be your best option because that will certainly save you a few hundred quid. But if you're looking for a good brake upgrade, if you're stage two, you're all nearly touching 500 horsepower, then this maybe the upgrade for you. Um, plus they look the absolute nuts. They are massive. Um, big eight pot, there's what they should have had if you're gonna sort of go for the big power. Cause I mean, what a stock RS4 is 440 brake. 
Um, if you get a good stage two, stage two, on a B8 S4, you could be touching 480 brakes, so you're gonna need some braking. Um, so this is quite a popular option. So that is the RS4 or the RS5 front calipers. They are an eight pot, they run a 365 mil disc. If you can find a set second hand with good quality discs, pads you can buy, that's not a problem. But if you can find some good discs that look like they've only just been changed, jump on it because that will save you a fortune. If not, um, aftermarket discs, sort of the three to 400 pound mark, and the genuine wavy ones on eBay, so maybe more from um, Audi, etc. Um, they are sort of eight to 100, 800 to a thousand pounds. So do bear that in mind when you're looking at brake upgrades. Now, um, I hope this information has been helpful to you. I'll put, like I said, all the details in the description below. Now let's talk rear brakes. Now, doing some research, because obviously I've got the four pot Brembo front brakes. I was thinking, well, cool, what can I do to the rear brakes? Now, looking into the RS4 ones, the caliper's the same. So the brakes on the rear are actually good enough. Um, the other options you have available to you, and I did find a couple. Let me just have a look what I've written down now. You can use the RSR wavy discs on the rear. Um, they do them, I class it as a floating um, disc because they have those little aluminium or little metal dowels between the actual uh, rotor and the center bell. So they're, not, they're actually one piece, but they look two piece. And obviously they're better for heat distribution. Um, now they are, you can buy them. They are a good few hundred quid. You're looking at sort of four or 500 quid for a set of rear discs, brand new and pads, but that will give you a little bit. That will certainly increase the uh, the rear braking and it will look slightly better. Or there is another option, which was an aftermarket option I found, and that was from a company um, on eBay and they sell a 360 mil floating two piece disc setup which comes with brackets, which actually spaces the caliper away, um, the extra sort of 15 mil, because obviously the disc will be 15 mil either side, to give you from 330 to 360. Um, and that comes as a bracket with the bolts, the hose extension, and the floating two-piece discs, which if you've got bigger wheels and you were looking for some bigger discs, that is certainly a good option for you. Now there is other things out there, but all I wanted to touch on this video was the OEM options, because obviously if, you, if you're like me, and you like the Audi, I quite like what Audi have produced. All their stuff is great quality, and if you look back through the years, through all the different uh, makes and models of Audis, most people have stuck with an Audi brake upgrade. Now, like I said earlier, I hope this information has been helpful. I'll pop all the details in the description below, all the part numbers I have, all the information I've found whilst doing my research, and if there's a brake upgrade that I haven't discussed, because I'm sure there is some weird and wonderful ones out there, please pop it in the comments, I'd love to know, and I'm sure everyone else watching this would also like to know. Um, and also, if you've got part numbers, brilliant, chuck them down. If not, I'll do my best to find them for everyone. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone from watching, and that is another video from the Parabros. Bye now.